Yeah, he sets my body in motion. He just, he knows how to turn things up. Good morning, everybody. Come here, Izzy. You could be in the show, too. In my last video, I talked about all the exercises I have to do. And I thought, well, today I would just film some of them. But I always start out with working on my hamstrings. And I said that I used um, a plunger. And I do. So I kind of show you that real quick. First, you got to put a lot of Vaseline on your leg. And when you're doing it, you're kind of warming up your IT band. And that's what runs along the outside. And this is my surgical leg. This is my good leg. And this is the plunger I use. I just got it off of Amazon. It's for a sink, not a toilet. And you put Vaseline along the rim. And you have to use a lot or it won't stick to you. And they do it better at PT because they have um, ultrasound gel. But I think that's kind of expensive, so I just use a lot of Vaseline. So anyway, you stick the plunger on you, and then you pull out and you rub it. Like you, not rub it, you pull it, you stick it on, and then you rub it along and like you're pulling out. I'll show it better right here, the inside of my leg. And you pull up and down, and it comes undone, and you just do it. And what this is doing is these fibers are really, really strong. It's like when you eat a chicken leg, you got that like gristly stuff. A lot of that might be like the IT band and stuff. And what you're doing is you're kind of pulling it out. You can't really stretch an IT band, but you can get a little more pliable. And also, this is what the PT people said. Usually the fibers are all messed up like that, and you want them to go straight like that. And that's kind of what we're doing. So I do this for a while, and I want you to know it's not very comfortable. It, it kind of hurts, to be honest with you. And you get kind of red, and it really hurts right in here when you do your adductors. That hurts. Okay, so I do that for a lot longer than I just showed you. And the next thing I use, I probably pronounce it wrong, but it's called a gua sha. It's a little piece of jade with kind of an interesting shape. And I use this outer edge, and it's kind of got a bevel on it like a knife. And I put Vaseline on it. And then I r rub along the stuff, and you push pretty hard. And what you want it to feel like is smooth. And if it does like this, like juts, you'll feel it. Up here I get it a lot on my hip flexor. And I'm getting kind of Vaseline on my shorts, but that's okay. Um... You want it to feel real smooth and not like a ridgy thing, like going over a lot of bumps. Because those bumps are where the strands of the muscle or stuff are all messed up. And it's gotten better over time. So I do that. And these shorts I'm getting Vaseline all over were given to me by a friend of Karen's, Janine, and they're my surgery shorts. I like them a lot. You'll see them in this video. So thanks, Janine, for the shorts. So when I'm done with all of that, I do it both legs, by the way, even though one leg is hurt and one leg is not. But I'm not going to show that this morning. And you get Vaseline all over the place, and so you have to be kind of careful. I just got it all over my shorts because I wasn't paying attention. So I clean off this plunger and everything. And then the last thing I do, and it's better if I have long pants on, but I use this to kind of roll out everything. And this hurts too. None of this feels real good. And I rub pretty hard on my IT band. I do my adductors, do my hip flexors. I do on the back of my leg like that. And 
I have like your IT band attaches right here at your knee and that hurts me sometimes. So I do it kind of right in there and I massage down in here and roll down here and that hurts me a lot. So that's the first part and that's what I put in my journal as IT band work. And I put them all on my iPad. I'll show it to you in a little bit. And then I knock, I check them off. And it takes me about an hour to do the whole thing. If I'm at the gym, I do my progression regression where right now I'm on the uh, elliptical and I can't seem to get past 15 minutes because I'm sore every time I do 15 minutes. So I, um, 15 minutes seems to be between 10 and 15 minutes is what I can do comfortably but I can't go to the next level of 20. And now it's time to do some exercises with my pup. So the first one that I do are clamshells. And what I work on is really sucking this in, pretending I'm going to pee. And so I'm holding that in and also tightening my butt. So all those things tighten. And then I go out, in, out, in. These are like baby clamshells. I do 15 two times. Then when I'm done with those, I do bridges, which is up and then down. And once again, doing all those holding things, up and down. I do 15 of those two times. So another one I do, and on all of these, the most important thing is suck in the stomach, pretend like you're about to pee, hold that in, and squeeze your butt. So this next one is you lift up, and then down, keeping the leg real straight. And I'll do my surgical leg, because that's the one. So up, and you just go to the level of this, and down. And if I hear clicking, or feel clicking on this surgical leg, I just don't raise it as high. And I really feel this in my hip flexors, and I have to try to tell them to relax. And here comes my little friend to help me do my exercises. She makes it really fun. I think she's going to bring a toy. So I do those. Here she comes. This is what makes it fun. She brings a little toy. The next one I do is you slide these in and slide them out. Slide them in. Slide them out. Izzy, go get Lammy. So in and out. And really, Izzy makes this doable for me. So those are some that I do on the floor. Oh, and then I have to do one where I put a pillow in between my legs, but will you lose Lammy? And you squeeze and release, squeeze and release. And I do all of those two by 15 every day. These are my Dr. Bruckner stretches. I have to go leg out like this and leg out like this, and I count to 12. This one, Izzy, really usually gets a toy. Go get a little Izzy. And in my journal, those are these are long lines, and I have to do four sets of five, and then I have to do figure fours, and I'll show you those by sitting. He likes me to do them sitting. It's just like I hold my leg up here, kind of cradle it and pull it towards me, and I kind of feel it on the back here. And what's funny is Izzy has laid down on my little mat on the ground. She likes to do that. Like banded walks. And so you hinge at your hips and you walk like this and walk like this. And I go like about 20 in one direction, 20 in the other. And I do two of those. Another thing I have to do is squats. And I do 15 of these. And... Um, the most important thing is to hip hinge. That means kind of like that as you go back. And all of these, I have to tell myself, suck in your stomach, pretend like you're about to pee, and do your butt. And by the end, that my butt gets pretty sore. So now, this is another fun one we have to do. And these are hard. I'm not going to lie. These are kind of hard. I'll pull this up, and I have to sit back into the chair, and then stand up, and real controlled, down, all the way, and you don't plop down, and then up, 
And if I'm really feeling it, I'll just go till I touch and then back up. At the gym, they have a little slider thing you can use, but at home, I just do it in the kitchen on tile floor. And you got to hold on and you just slide a foot back and bring it in. And these are really about hip hinging. And the work is being done, my stomach is doing all the work. And then the other foot goes back and up. And you have to remember to bend your front knee. Sometimes I forget. And you got a hip hinge. So those are reverse lunge sliders. I kind of like those. I'll do my good leg first. You kind of bend and then you come up and lift this leg. And I kind of hold on. Now I'm going to do my surgical leg, and this is not as good. But I'm to try up and down, up and down. So my trusty dog Izzy is helping me out on this one. And so on this one, I'm kind of at an angle so you can see it. You just put one leg in front of you and you're like kneeling. And the when I first started doing this, this hurts so bad right here, this your hip flexor that I couldn't even really do the exercise. Everything sucked in, that your butt's kind of tucked, and then you just twist. Okay. And you kind of fight, the, the lower body's fighting the upper body's twist. And um, really this, at first, was really hard because, like I said, my hip flexors. And I do uh, 15 one way, 15 the other way, then another set. So two by 15 of those. And then do, well, you can't see a damn thing. You're laying over the ottoman, and you're just doing leg lifts. And I, the thing here is to keep your leg really, really straight. You're working your hamstrings. I do two sets of 15 each leg. Um, that one's not that hard, but there is a definite difference of how high I can lift my non-surgical non leg with my surgical leg. So that's that one. Okay. These are the, I think, are the hardest. And you got to be up against the wall. Izzy's coming over to help me, give me some more support. And you got to, the first one is for abduction. And I learned abduction is way from the center. And adduction is to the center, so that makes sense, adding to the center. And you just slide your leg up the wall. And these kind of go, get my IT band a little bit. But you're pushed against the wall, and you've got to make sure your stomach is sucked in and your leg is straight. And then for the adduction, now my surgical leg is going to be working. You slide the under leg up the wall, and these are really hard. I really have a hard time on these. When I first started, I could only do five at a time and then I had to rest. And I also feel these in my side a little bit. It means I'm probably doing them wrong. Karen did them with me the other day at the gym and she said they were hard. So that made me feel a little bit better. These are some of her toys. This is Hedgie and this is Monkey Man. Um, so anyway, those are the exercises I do. This is my little helper, Izzy, and while we do it, she brings all her toys. Bring Lammy! Where's Lammy? And here she brought Lammy. So those are my exercises with my helper, and she makes them fun. Okay, that concludes the part of the exercise portion of this video, and here's how I chart it. If you're squeamish about looking at surgery things, Please um, stop the video now because the next part is showing some of the cool instruments Dr. Bruckner used. Yeah, he sets my body in motion. He just, he knows how to turn things up. And he knows what gets me going. Yeah, like a little text saying, hey, what's up? Look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us Thinking we are too much Look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us mm -hmm. Why do I need to be good all the time? I'm wrapped around his finger, but he is mine Don't care what they say, 